Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss what to the difference between rows and range function in MySQL database. So right here, I'm using the table EMP. So this is the record inside the EMP table. So let's go see the query of rows and range function. So right here, I'm using a select and here selecting a right here column EMP number and here after ename. And here after dpt number and one important column is that. Now here after let's use some aggregator function and here I'm passing that column. And here after over clause. So over clause and here order by that. So you want the over clause I already discussed now next is as sav1 so sav1 is the column alias so in place of this all now here after let's give the or table name from emp so if you execute to this query so see at here also at here is four column i have taken and here after sav1 so in sav1 so i did a uh, sum on sav so over order by style. So order by style is 800, 900. This all in order by. And here I'm doing the sum on style. So at here it's just like a cumulative sandy. So at here 800 plus 900, 7050, 7050 plus 1100, 2850. And 2850 plus 2850, 5350. So at here in place of this, you can also use a range function. So let's copy and here after let's give range function and a range function at here we have to use between uh, between clause and here after unbounded or preceding and the current After as salary. Uh, so let's execute this query. So I have order by range between unbounded preceding and current row. C U double R current row P R E C E D I N G. Let's execute the query. So I have I'm getting the same output by using so uh, range uh, range function at here. So this to or uh, this we can write the this key by this way or we can do the same. So it's a, a default things at here. So this is the default. So at here range between uh, unbounded preceding and current value. So it's a default here. So in place of this we can also use range function. Now I bought the unbounded preceding and current row. So at the time of uh, a first value and last value calculation so i discussed about this all those things so about how why we are using unbounded proceeding or uh, rows and here at here i'm using rows between unbounded proceeding and unbounded flying so at here this is the default value here yeah. so in place of let's use the in place of range at here let's use rows function So now let's execute that one. So see at here I'm getting uh, the output. So 800 first. So 915, 715, 800 plus 950, 1715, 17, 17, 17, so at here or uh, see the difference uh, when I'm using range function. So when that one any duplicate value. So at here uh, 1250 and 1250 is the duplicate value. So range clause treat them as a single entity. So here it's a treat as the single entity by using range clause. But if you do add here uh, or rows or uh, function. 
so let's use rows function so add here with that font add here duplicate value so it treat as a single or distinct value so that here it's a or just adding like cumulative setting so 800 plus 957 so like this that continue so this is the main difference between range and our rows function in my sql database so range function when that for any duplicate value then that treat as a single entity so at your 1250 1250 that or uh, duplicate value that font and sum so that trick as a single entity but if you are using or uh, at your rows function so when that for any duplicate value so that treat as a distinct entity so that at your uh, that so uh, i'm getting the output just like cumulative salary so this is the main difference between range and rows function